Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to test out 15 games on the Ryzen 7 5700U. Armed with the Radeon Vega 8, this CPU manages to play a nice variety of titles. Welcome to Team Pandora. Subscribe. For this round of game tests, we'll be using the GMK Tech Nutbox M5. This mini PC is going pretty cheap, and we'll have a review soon demonstrating how well it can perform on an ultra-wide 1440p monitor. TDP is set at 15 watts in the BIOS, and it's running Windows 11 Pro with all the latest patches. Two sticks of 16GB 3200MHz DDR4 are present, running in dual channel. And also, the latest AMD Adrenaline drivers are installed. I'll leave you now with the rest of the system info before we get into the testing. So for the first game, we have League of Legends. And at 1080p with all options maxed out, this is running great. When it's all calm, over 100 FPS, and it slows down to around 80 when the action starts. Moving now to the heavier Dota 2, at 1080p lowish, we're at a very playable 60 FPS. But later on, it slows down to around 40 to 50 when the action starts. And we're very surprised at how well the most unpopular game on Steam runs. 1080p, medium, gives us a solid 60 FPS. With the mini PCs, we're always getting asked how well Valorant runs. And at 1080p on medium settings, actually quite nice. Flash. Standing. Ah. Spike carrier is careful. Spike down, B. Uh. I'm a crack shot at this. In your dreams, cowboy. In Counter Strike 2, the first time playing, he'll have a few lag spikes. But once the shaders have compiled, it's playable at medium or 720p.
Next up is Naraka Blade Point. Unfortunately, this chipset struggles in 1080p, and we need to click down graphical settings to 720p in order to get a semi-playable game. Here's Honkai Star Rail. As this game is turn-based, 1080p medium settings works fine. If you need it to be smoother, further lower the settings. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Step aside. The time is now. Just a scratch. Try that again. Next up is Rise of the Tomb Raider. This is a game I absolutely must get into, and playing it for testing really has won me over. While it looks stunning in 1080p, the 5700U does struggle a little bit. We recommend you play this in 720p. Need for Speed Heat is a game that absolutely needs more GPU power. As it's a racing game, at least 60 FPS is a must, but if you're in a pinch and really want to play it, the 5700U can manage it somewhat. It's time to get a bit dirty in Dirt Rally. We're running the benchmark in 720p medium, and this chip performs quite well. Next up, Grid Autosport. 60 FPS at 1080p and medium settings.
King's Fighters 15, 1080p is unplayable. Clicking down graphic settings to 720p, and we've got a game. In Tekken 7, we can get full speed while running 720p medium settings. Next game is Pillars of Eternity. I suppose it can't be helped. In all honesty, I wanted to get some footage of Path of Exile, but got mixed up with the game titles. And now for one of the best games of all time. We look at a Mario Damashi re-roll in a glorious 1080p high settings. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. Perhaps one of our others may interest you. Anyway, it's been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra.